and CDFA using a one kilometer radius euthanasia zone around infected premises. Creation of a zone is a common method of eradicating disease in animal populations throughout the world. The radius can be from 1 to 50 kilometers depending on the disease and the density of the animal population. It is important to stress that all poultry within a, a 1 kilometer radius are required to be euthanized. Based on studies conducted by USDA and CDFA during the 2002-2003 outbreak and the current outbreak, risk factors for infected flocks were identified. Risks include proximity to infected premises, housing birds in outdoor cages or coops, contact with wild or dom other domestic birds including neighboring birds, flocks with greater than 20 birds, game fowl on premises, and the majority of the birds being roosters. Birds housed outdoors are at a high risk for viral exposure and loose birds are at an even greater risk for exposure and disease transmission. Many premises within these depopulation zones are epidemiologically linked due to known factors including uncontrolled or purposeful bird movement, fence line contact, loose or feral birds, and sunlight transmission between premises, which has resulted in the continued maintenance and spread of BNB in Southern California despite disease control strategies. The diagnostic tests that are currently available do not always allow for detection of infected birds. Early in the course of infection, normal appearing birds do not always shed enough virus to be detected by testing. So using testing to decide which animals depopulate in areas where the virus is widespread, such as the Mariloma area, will result in persistence of the virus in these infected but test negative birds. Disease eradication is a balance between removing all the infected animals while minimizing the uninfected animals that are euthanized. Mr. Tabor's premises is located on the southeast corner of the Mariloma highly infected area and within approximately one kilometer of two infected factor premises, with more in very close proximity. Infected premises in the area contain hundreds of infected birds producing a large amount of virus, which can spread to the surrounding area via wild birds, other animals, equipment, and people. The first detection of DMD in Mariloma occurred on June 30th, 2018, and disease has been diagnosed in an additional 111 premises in Mariloma through April 25th, 2019, with new detections occurring throughout the period. A total of 7,761 poultry have been depopulated on the infected premises. The highly infected area consists of densely populated neighborhoods. The infected backyard flocks range from 1 to 430 poultry, and the average backyard flock size of the infected and dangerous contact flocks depopulated as of April 27th was 47 birds. It is clear after 11 months of battling DND in Southern California that our previous approach of relying on owners to report sick birds and then testing birds adjacent to those premises hasn't been effective. The disease has continued to spread, and Mariloma is one of the three main areas of high disease detection. In 2002 and 2003, when DND was present in these very same areas in Southern California, mandatory euthanasia of poultry in the entire neighborhood was required to eradicate the disease. A similar approach is being implemented in the current outbreak.